Hello and welcome to Hold On With Fellowship Sunday School Lesson for July 28th, A Test of Faith, Genesis 22nd, 1-14. It's a good lesson. Um, a lot of times the Lord, He tests us in our uh, faith and we have to uh, reassure the Lord that we are walking with Him and it's not always easy, but it's not a test is not meant to be easy. It's just like in school, we take tests and uh, they are meant to be challenging and and make us uh, learn but uh, and show our our aptitude and our and our understanding and w just like uh, what the Lord does with us he tests us and it's not an easy thing but we grow from it we see where we are so this is what uh, Abraham is dealing with right now um, it's a good lesson Let's go right into our scripture lesson text, Genesis 22 and 1. And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, be, and he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take now thy son, thy only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which I tell, tell thee of. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass and took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son and clave the wood for the burnt offering and rose up and went unto the place in which God had told him. Then on the third day Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son, and he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and they went both of them together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father, and said, My father, and he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for the burnt offering. So they went both of them together. And they came to the place in which God had told them, told him of, and Abraham built an altar there, and laid the wood in order, and bound Isaac his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand, and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven, and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, and seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in the thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, as it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. Amen. Man, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for another uh, uh, blessed Sunday school lesson. I ask you to just uh, continue to grow us in our understanding, our willingness to learn more about your word. And I ask that, you, uh, that this word uh, breaks somebody's heart that's listening and that they uh, want to learn more about you and want to know uh, how they can grow in their faith, Lord. Thank you for everything you do in our life, Lord, and continue to bless everyone. That is a part of the Sunday school. In your son Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Let's go right into this lesson. A test of faith. Extremely hard thing to do. To do. Genesis 22, 1 through 6. Difficult command. Genesis 22, 1 through 2. So the Lord had been uh, showing Abraham by his faith that he uh, is with him throughout this whole journey from his. Uh, homeland all the way to Canaan land, the Lord had been showing Abraham that um, if he trusts in him, he will provide for him. And, and Abraham had been doing it. He's been following the Lord. The people under him have been following him, all of his flock, and they were fruitful. And then the Lord's been adding to him. And the Lord told him that he was going to add to him a son. And that son, uh, was going to come from Abraham and his wife, Sarah. And although they were in old age, and they waited a long time for this to happen, um, along the way they had a son, Ishmael, by Hagar, the handmaid, because they 
believe they thought the Lord meant that he was to go in onto him, go in onto uh, Hagar, but that wasn't the case. The Lord miraculously gave them a child from Sarah, and they and and they uh, and he opened up her womb, and they had a child. His name was Isaac, the promised son. So now he has Isaac, and uh, the 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 way that his descendantship is gonna go is coming is becoming clear. He has a son now, and now he can uh, he sees that he he's gonna be fruitful for many years. His name is gonna be known throughout the world, and just like the Lord has said. But now the Lord has asked him to sacrifice his only son. So we can only imagine how hard that is to to stomach. After you've given me this son that you promised to me, now you're saying I have to sacrifice him. The Lord, he does these things to see where we are in, in the faith. It's easy to say I trust the Lord and I love him and I want to follow you and I'm going to do whatever he says when everything is good. But what about when, uh, when things happen and our faith is tested? Are we still going to trust in him? Are we still going to call on the Lord? Are we still going to... Uh, uh, believe that he will make work it out or are we going to falter and go on into our own understanding and our own uh, ways of handling things and be upset with the Lord this is a test this is a test of the faith and Abraham although he was one of the most uh, faithful men in the Lord he hadn't been tested like this this was important to show whether he was really walking with the Lord or was he walking with him because the Lord had been adding him substance and a child and adding him all these uh, blessings, giving him land. You know, he didn't have a deed to, he gave him the Canaan land. They said that's his. Is he uh, well, just walking with him in these times or are you going to walk with him when the Lord commands him to do something that he doesn't want to do? Oftentimes in our life we got to do things we don't want to do and it's walking with the Lord. Um, as we know, sin is easy, right? It's easy to do things that, that the world is doing that we did in the flesh because uh, most of the time we consider it to be fun and feel good and, and, uh, and, and make us, uh, make us uh, feel at ease in this world. But the Lord, if he commands us to act in a different way and, not, and stray from these things that the world does, we have to do it. Because do we want our eternity or do we um, value fun on earth right now more important? Because these years on earth is just a short time, but eternity is forever. We have to value that. What do we value more? And we get tested every day. Amen. Instant obedience. Amen. So the sacrifice was to be made in the mountain of Lamb, uh, in the land of Moriah, Mount Moriah. Uh, it's a 50 mile journey. And uh, Abraham had to go up and take his son and, uh, and, and offer him as a sacrifice. Did he, uh, Abraham question the Lord? Did he uh, say, Lord, why do I got to do this? I don't, I don't, Lord, is there any other thing I can do? Can you take this from me, this, this, uh, this tough thing that I have to do? Can you take it? No, he did. He went on, and he brought he brought his son Isaac without question, and he was going to do it. He's going to sacrifice his son. That's how we have to walk with the Lord. No questions. No questions asked. I'm going to do it because if it's uh, between even the son and the Lord, we got to choose the Lord. And that's it. And then do you... Do you uh, value your children over the Lord? Who would do that? Do you? Uh, the Lord is is a. Uh, he's the one that provided you that child, but will you give that child up for the Lord? We have to ask ourselves that. Do we do we uh, love the Lord that much, or do are we coveting our children? Let's, let's think about it, because the Lord is a, uh, the provider of all things. He gave you a child. He gave. He let you be fruitful. Now, if he said, I want that child back, would you would you uh, say, no, nah, Lord, I want to keep this child. I can't, and I can't give that to you. Yeah, you out of the way of the Lord. That's how much he wants us to love him and, 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 and put our life, put him, put him first in our life. Even before our kids, even before our spouses, anybody, him first. 
Amen. And we don't ask questions. So Isaac submitted to the Lord. He didn't. He didn't uh, um, doubt him. He didn't. Didn't um, uh, lament the Lord. Nothing. He went on and did what he was supposed to do. Isaac's salvation. Genesis 22, 11 through 12. Um, so Abraham, he he had a knife. He picked up the knife, and he was finna uh, go on and uh, slay his son on the altar, and and uh, preparing the burnt offering as a, his son as the offering, human offering. And he heard a voice say, uh, and it was an, it was the angel of the Lord. He say he interrupted Abraham in the midst of that, just he was finna do it. And Abraham was obedient because he, he was trying to do it. He wasn't thinking about it, nothing else but do what the Lord said. And the, and the angel said, wait. Don't hurt your child. Don't lay a hand on him. He just wanted to see if he had total obedience or not. And he and he stopped. And, and, and the Lord saw at that moment that Abraham had passed this test. He was, his uh, faith was not just in words, but it was genuine. He trusted the Lord through it all, and, he, and, they, and Abraham showed it by his willingness to, to take his own son out, cause just because the Lord said it. So he, he, he stopped him there, and that was the pass another test. Amen. So Abraham didn't fail with this culmination that we've been coming to of his son. He has it now, and now the, the Lord asked him to take it. Abraham was willing to take his son out, and he did, and he, and he was just about to do it, and the Lord stopped him. He showed him and said, you, you, you showed your faith. You uh, don't do it. Wait. Isaac accepts too. So Abraham had uh, stopped, and he looked, he looked away, he just uh, looked, glanced off, and when he glanced ar uh, around, he saw... Um, a ram in the bush. It was, uh, it was caught by his horns in the thickets, uh, in the shrubs, and and that was Abraham knew that that was uh, what the Lord was providing, Amen, for him to sacrifice, and he named that place Jehovah Jireh. The Lord provides. He is our provider. He provided that uh, the ram in that bush, and and that was a substitutionary sacrifice. Amen. We know the Lord provided for Hagar in the in the wilderness. Um, a section ago, when she was uh, without water, and and and, uh, and Ishmael was was about to perish, and and she looked up and and saw that the Lord had provided a well. We have to look up sometimes um, instead of looking down and looking and and, and being uh, depressed in our feelings and thinking about what what went wrong and how how oh woe is me. We need to just look up and 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 talk to the Lord and pray to him and ask him to help us. And he will and in your looking, he he will provide something for you to for you to do right there. He'll provide your answer. And we have to look up. The looking up is to God and thinking and, and thinking, Lord, can you help me? You know, instead of looking down, and it's nothing down that's gonna help us. We have to look up, just as Abraham did, and he saw that the Lord had provided the answer right there. He had provided us the answer. We have to continue to look up to Him instead of looking down into our own self, into into depression, looking down into sadness, despair, and looking down into self-doubt and and angst. No, nah, look up. Because the Lord would provide for us, just like he provided for Abraham. Abraham passed his test of faith. We have to challenge our own uh, selves and see, am I really faithful to the Lord? If everything goes bad in my life as it, as it has before, will I walk with the Lord and continue to stay with him through it all? We have to, we have to grow in our, in our Christian walk. We're not babes anymore. We have to grow into grown, um, mature Christians. Who who love the Lord through it all and trust Him, the Lord. If 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 Abraham was had if, if Abraham hadn't been stopped, he was willing to slay his own son because he trusted in the Lord that much that even if he he did take his son out, if the Lord wanted his son back, he could bring him back. So much he trusted him. 
We have to trust the Lord. Even if he's walking us on a journey, we don't understand why am I going on this way. It's okay. If the Lord want me to go this way, I'm going to go. And he, and he will provide a way out of even I think it's no way. He can do it. And we have to trust him um, through it all. Amen. It's a good lesson, short lesson, good lesson. Hope you got something out of it. Be blessed. Go uh, to a church house somewhere. Get in there and serve the Lord. Praise the Lord. Learn more about his uh, word. Amen. And, and get in your Bibles. Continue to grow in your own word. Let the Lord speak to you through his word. And be blessed. Have a great Sunday.